All right, this is problem 5-28, and it is one that is a job costing problem that has a single direct cost category as well as a single indirect cost pool, and it relates to a law firm. Okay, I'm going to read the problem now. Weigen Associates in a recently, is a recently formed law partnership. Ellery Hanley, the managing partner of the company, has just finished a tense phone call with Martin Ofaya, president of uh, Wideness Coal. Ofaya strongly complained about the price Weigen charged for some legal work done for Wideness Coal. Hanley also received a phone call from its only other client, St. Helens Glass, which was very pleased with both the quality of the work and the price that was charged on its most recent job. All right, now Wigan Associates uses a cost-based approach to pricing or billing, or for how they bill each job, and cur currently it uses a simple costing system with a si single direct cost category, professional labor hours, and a single indirect cost pool, general support. Indirect costs are allocated to cases on the basis of professional labor hours per case. The, and the job file shows the following. So to the left of my mouse here, we see the uh, professional labor, Wideness Coal, 104 hours, St. Helens Glass, 96 hours. Professional labor costs at Wigan Associates are $70 an hour. Indirect costs are allocated to cases at $105 an hour and total indirect cost in the most recent period were $21,000. And we're going to tackle both requirements. First, we'll tackle number one, which I'm just going to answer verbally. I'm not going to jot anything down. Why is it important for Wigan Associates to understand the costs associated with individual jobs? Okay, well, it relates to pricing decisions. Pricing decisions at the company are heavily influenced by the reported cost numbers. Okay, now, if we were to suppose that Wigan was bidding against another firm for a client with a job similar to that, or a job similar to of Wideness Coal, if the costing system would overstate the cost of these jobs, then Wigan may wind up resulting in coming up with a bid that's too high and then they'll lose the job to a competitor. If the costing systems were understated the cost of these jobs, then they could bid too low and then they would get the work, but they could lose money for handling the legal work involved. So that's the main reason why we need to understand costs of individual jobs, whether it's my manufacturing where we sell the product or whether it's service industry. Because if we still operate in a competitive environment, we want to take we want to keep track of costs and we want to make sure that we operate efficiently and a part of efficiently means we operate in a way that's most profitable for the business itself. Okay, next we'll tackle part two. Okay, now I've typed in some headings just to save some time. Um, uh, and let me turn the volume down. I noticed it may distorting. It, my voice may be distorting a little bit. Okay, so we've got Wideness Coal, St. Helens Glass in total, and we're going to compute the cost of both of these jobs and the cost in total using this simple system. All right, and I've done a little bit typing ahead, so let me just bring it to light. Um, first, we need to figure out what the direct professional labor was, and um, what we know is it's seventy dollars per labor hour, right? 70 an hour, so we'll type in equal 70 and then the number of hours that we incurred um, for wideness was to the left of my mouse was 104 so we'll put that amount in there and we'll type in the $70 times the 96 hours for St. Helens Glass and the 96 is coming right from there. Okay, and then we can just sum across to come up with that. Now let me format that with uh, dollars and no decimal places. And then that's the direct professional hours. Now since we have one, one uh, uh, cost pool, total indirect costs, we'll type that in, and I've done that ahead of time just to save some time. Indirect, indirect costs allocated are being allocated at 105 to the left of my mouse. Um, 105 an hour 
and um, so we would take the 105, I think, times the 104 hours, uh, 104 per hour. But let, let me, let's go read that again to make sure we understand how that works. Professional labor costs are 70 an hour. Indirect costs are allocated to cases at $105 an hour. Okay, so if we used 104 hours, we simply multiply the 105 times the 104, which is what we did. We get 10,920. Here again, we take the 105 per hour times the 96, and we get 10,080. Um, I will sum across. We get 21,000. Now we just sum down. I'll just highlight all of these and hit the sum button. Uh, put a dollar sign. And we've been now able to compute, oh, and click on the right button here, the total cost to be billed. And, um, and what we see is we've got 18,000 to wideness, 16,8 to St. Helens for a total of 35,000. And that's what's required on part two using this simple method. Okay, thanks everyone.